Hey guys, it's Levi. Today's video we're going to be back where we started again, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Still playing this game, still having a lot of fun with it. So today's video is going to be based around Sissy. She's a really strong family member and uh, if you haven't given her a try, I suggest giving her a try. I haven't fully maxed her out yet, but I'm pretty sure I know what her best abilities and perks are. Um, I've already got the, the good perks on her. I don't have them fully upgraded yet, so that's just going to take some time to get them perks leveled up. If you're new here, I'm posting this every day. Appreciate the likes and comments on the uh, on the other videos. I really appreciate that. If you've got any advice for me on making the videos shorter or longer, or doing certain things in videos you guys want, then let me know down in the comments below, and I can do that for you to make these videos better for you guys. Just go ahead and jump right into the gameplay. Also, if you're just here for the build, you can skip to the end of the video. That's all good. I would prefer it if you stick around and watch the video though. But if you're not here for the gameplay and you just want the build, just go to the end of the video. It's going to be there for you. All right, guys, we're playing on Family House of Sissy. Let's get right into this. I must admit it's been a little while since I've played her. I don't have her leveled up that much, but the build that I've got is really good. This is mostly a, a gas cloud build, so it's not really a poison build. But a poison build it oh, already, wow. Let's go straight to battery and turn it on so they've got no escape. So the poison build is a where you poison objects and they can't do anything, like if they touch the object they get tagged and poisoned, which is, it's a really good build to be fair, I might do a, um, I might do a, a showcase on that if you guys want. But this build is a gas cloud build, so it's mainly damage output. I could hear them below me already. Oh wait, no, that might be good. Alright, let's get back inside. The team's not too bad. Um, I don't think anywhere near enough people play Kook. Kook is so overpowered. I will admit, he's probably not, he's probably not the most fun person to play. The damage output on him isn't that great. But he's really useful for the team. As I showed you in the last video, if you haven't seen that, go take a look. Supplies us with locks as well, which I mean, they could just walk straight out of here. So, I'm gonna make sure that they, um, that's a bunch of bollocks. Make sure it doesn't slam the door open on me. He's done. Come on, go. Jump out the middle, are you? He's around here somewhere. There he is. And as Sissy, obviously, you can chase people around. Oh wow, I thought he was going to slam that door on me. Done, surely. Come on, buddy. Yeah, I'm gonna run around. Let my stomach regain. Right this is what it's like in the house. You gotta keep cutting them off. Pretty sure he's done in maybe. Yeah, nice. There's one gun. He was trying to do fuse. He did pick up a fuse, so we'll have to make sure that isn't done. He did head upstairs. I'm not sure if he did anything with it though. Whoa! Okay, okay, okay. Let me move. Turn this on so we can see. So he's better to have light as the killers, good. so you can see the victims who can't hide in the dark. Right, ah, that's an upgrade. Leveled up. There's one there. So dark, wind so cold. The fire's burning, you can't grow old. <laughs> you can't grow old. 
She's gonna have to jump down the well. Yeah, she knows it. See if I can get a hit. I guess I can't it. save you after all. Okay, that's still locked. Okay, we're okay for now. Make sure no one's hiding out here. This build is very, it's really good because it's a very good chase build. Obviously, Sissy can go through, go through a lot of the doors and stuff. Oh wow, I can poison this. I didn't know I could do that. I'm still learning a lot about the game. I'm only like level, I think I'm like nearly 30, something like that, which is nowhere near any of the levels that some people are getting. And I'm playing this game a decent amount. Fuse is still not done, which is good. Everything's still locked up. I should really be collecting blood. I'm going to start doing that now. Sissy's blood collecting is really good. She can carry a lot. She gets a lot from uh, from the vials. So I'm going to go around and pick some of them up. I'm pretty sure that was a person just... Yeah, right there. Nice, okay, this should be a kill here. Keep chasing through, yeah. There's no way she lives. We got this, surely. Nice. There's another one right there. I don't know what's going on with it. There we go. I'm not coming up with this on my camera. Yeah, dude. There's another one. It just shows how strong this build really is. She's really aggressive. She's really good at chasing people. There's another one down. Yeah, there he is down there. I'm going to try and cut him off. Where's this person gone? Gonna I don't think they're outside. Uh, we got them. Ah, it's good stuff. What a good game. Nice game, man. GG. I usually play two games, but for, for this video, I'm going to try something different and keep it a bit shorter for you guys so uh, you don't have so much to sit through. Let me know in the comments down below if you like the shorter videos or you prefer the longer ones. I'm going to show you the build right now, guys. So this is the build right here. As I said, I don't have it max level. I do have all the perks on the skill tree, though, the max that I could get. So first of all, the ability. Um, what I've seen a lot of is people going, especially for the gas builds, uh, they go left here. So I've, I've got the first level there. And then level 2, increased poison duration. And level 3, toxic cloud. That's what you want. And then for the perks here... Feral is really good because it increases the savagery which increases your damage because she doesn't do that much damage She's more of a chaser. So when you get these perks it increases the damage quite a lot Which makes it quite formidable. The second perk is serrated. I've only got this level one So it doesn't do that much right now, but this one's really good because it does um, I wouldn't call it poison damage. It's more like bleed damage So when I hit them they take one HP per second of extra damage for the next three seconds And that's just level one uh, when you get that fully leveled up. That's really good there's one HP a second for an extra five seconds, so it's pretty strong. And then the efficient herbalist, you're going to be using a lot of your poison clouds, poisoning a lot of objects, so this one's good. I've only got this level one again. Poisoning an object has 25% chance not to consume any powder, which is really good. And then when you get that max level, that's insane. And then for the granddad perk, the experienced stalkers, I just like, this is what I like using. It's, I've seen it's pretty good. It reduces the family's proximity warning, which is very good. And this is going to be the skill tree here, so you guys can copy that. It goes up to the middle, and then just goes top right. It's a pretty simple one. And for the attributes, if you didn't catch that, I've got nothing in Savagery, nothing in Blood, and I've put all of my stuff into Endurance, because she is a really, she's a really good chase character, so this is why I've got that on that, and that's why I've got the Savagery perks. So this gets the, the perks get the damage up, and then my attributes get my Endurance up, so it's a really good mix. That's going to be the video today, guys. 
had a lot of fun playing her then. She's a really good build, and when you get it leveled up a lot, she's very strong. So I suggest you using her if you haven't. Again, let me know if you guys like the shorter video or you want the longer ones. Let me know if I can change anything up for you guys. Put that in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, have a good day, guys. See ya.